Reaper is in a creep wave underneath his tier one tower, but still cannot do much, much about it. Enough to intimidate them back a little bit. Ooh, he's doing very well on the Welcome back! Quick X marks, the Tarn's gonna be able to connect. He doesn't have his blink available, no! so that's gonna be actually a hit. You shouldn't have cut this Yeah, you shouldn't have done that, man. Buki actually falling on the top lane. Up top, I mean, again, we haven't started to see an impact in this Razor at all. He's just been sitting top, taking kills when they're fed to him, but not really moving around. Just trying to start to get active, goes in, immediate static link on XY. They are gonna keep the Furion. Waiting out that save here. He's going to be trying to TP, but the burst damage is there. They nuke him down. The Juggernaut now out of the fight. Two more heroes TPing forward. Arteezy looks like he's in it for the long haul. Jab to the Infiz. Gets the Juggernaut onto two. And there's the Sonic Wave. The vacuum in. It's the Phoenix. Oh, is it going to be enough to turn this fight? But no, EG still coming out victorious. Arteezy even with just a scratch of health secures a rampage at 14 minutes in. Rex, did There's you see the that? Brigade. I did. Oh my. Should have the damage to bring him low. Can he finish him off though? The hook shot's there. MSS trying to save the day. It's not gonna happen. The farm advantage is overwhelming from OG as they easily survive the initial onslaught. MP crushed. OG looking towards the high ground. Like MP. I'm still watching MP on like no HP and walk towards the right bit. He's going for Envy. He's going for Oh no! They got the observer one. Wally TP! Oh, Anna. swag. Oh, wow! Swag. Put the shades oh. on, Anna. <laughs> oh, no. You gotta expect a wood somewhere in that area. Blunder to the lane. He's gonna have Universe continuing to farm up and get that solo XP. Now, mid lane, we are gonna have Slardar making his way forward. He does have his level 2. Able to go in for the sprint and the crush. But still, Sumail is such a tricky target to get a hold of. They are setting up from though, so perhaps if you just did. Black actually gonna be the one in trouble. Links back up to the high ground, sipping on the bottle. He's going forward, trying to get another kill. to mail in some serious trouble. All of his spells on cooldown. He does finally pick up the base shift. He's gonna be able to get out here. Illusion or forward makes it to the high ground, takes out Black before he goes down. He does end up dead, but played that just about as perfectly as he could have. I believe they did. Secret are gonna walk through. Our newbie gonna react to this. Fate's about to walk up. Ward drop down. They'll see him, and he is probably dead. Press the attack comes out. Maybe not. They're gonna turn this beautiful stun. The cleave is there. The duel is up. MP is dead as well. Wow, that escalated pretty fast. That was uh. Slow without that one. Any sort of rallying or Zorcrest here. Usually this looks like a pretty clean. Here we go. The duel is in. They're gonna find mid one. He's pretty tough to take down. He does not have his stone gates. A lot of damage being done, but nobody dead just yet. Here comes the Prince of Field. Black Hole canceled immediately as, guess what? The Enigma is dead. So too is MP. And now they're going to find Puppy. He does throw up the Static Storm, but the Sven just chunking him down with that giant Buster Sword. They will head inside the Rose Pit and finish off what Secret have started. And wow, that turn quickly, even without global, is more than enough. Looking for more mid one, tethered up. Godstrike coming in. They're looking for a stun, but they get off the black hole in time. The BKP, no damage really being done to Mogi, and Tezu will fall shortly thereafter. Might actually make it out. The split shot doing some serious work for mid one. Now silence up. Nobody dead except for Tezu, and now mid one getting caught. There's the hex to fall. Faith to find up the frostbite. Yapsor trying to stay to help him out. Can't do anything. MP going for a TP will be successful. Yapsor will not be too lucky. So Mogi will pick himself up a double kill. And after that long winded fight. Here we go, we might see something. If they can find anybody. The Atos, Faith is somebody. They do have global, by the way. Press the attack comes out, there's the duel along with it. Io saying a lot of good Guardian Greaves on the other side. Faith getting dropped down. Here comes Boogie, Stormhammer, see you later, Kazu, you're dead. Now the global comes out as well. Ward ready for Kaka in one. They've also dropped another here on the back lines. That was Puppy, and MP will drop next. It's four dead. This will lead right into it. It is EG life to damage. Will do anything? Radiant's so. top tower is under attack. We're gonna see now. Grit trying his best, just plopping out some fire spirits. But this tower's melting low. 
Sai does have the ult ready. He just sets him up with an overthrow. So there is going to be that splat of the infest bomb, but nice time lapse off Weaver. Very quick to save his teammates, but it looks like Puck is going to be the one eating all the damage. BKB coming forward. Shadow Fiend now is going to be right clicking onto our TV Black does have the Aegis, so we can just continue to press forward here. Meanwhile, jabs our support Weaver doing carry tier damage. Our TCC trying to live with armlet toggles in the trees, and it looks like he's doing his best. Might be able to take out the Venge. Oh, the Venge lives with just a fraction of health. And the TV down. It's going to be saved by the Weaver, just trying to walk her way back to freedom. There is still a tier one tower to help her out. Our TZ just going ham. Looks like he will opt to back off. Now the egg comes out as Black is just right clicking away, and they will be able to get down crit. That Phoenix not coming back into the fight. Now our TZ going to be surrounded here, pushed back by the cause. He's got no more mana. There is going to be Universe coming forward, but another time lapse may just save the Venge. It's not going to be enough. She goes down. Our TZ still alive. Requiem of Souls drop down. They do score the kill on our TZ. Now Zai revealed in the tree. They popped out another sentry, and they will be able to clean up the tree as well. Yeah, he was, you know, jungling really aggressively with no vision in the Radiant jungle. Now Radiant, they're pushing right back up under Dire Shrine. There's going to be that time lapse spent out of the Ice Ice Ice, and now Black can be going forward. The egg is plopped out, but there's going to be the silence and the Dream Coil. The Disarm comes forward, so Shadow King has to run from the egg. Meanwhile, in the Chrono, they are able to lock down the Weaver. Get down jab to the TP out from XY, and the Yules breaks it right up to the Vengeful Spirit. Now going to be killed as well. This is EG turning it right back around, able to leave their base and find three kills. Bench with the invis room, looking to get to the oh, There's going to be crit snapped back and yeah, silent stuff. It looks like that bird won't be flying much longer, but Penny actually lived with the entire duration of Static Stormy, is able to go and get off the ult. Now Universe is going to be moving forward. Central Spirit is going to be able to eat the cheese. BKB's up and now she's going to be looking to turn the fight back around. Ice 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 still stuck in the dream coil and now XY isolated in. Another hook shot forward and a chrono onto two. It's looking uh, pretty good for EG so far. They get two down. Shadow Fiend, oh, he goes down as well. Down for a hundred seconds, does have buyback, but it's only Weaver left alive to tell his tale. It was definitely a little bit greedy. Like, you could see that there was comfort there in Provoca to even make that rotation out of there. Now it's on the Gabby. Yep, and a quick dagger comes out. They, well, whatever. You know, yep. some people like to hold on to that hole, never use it. They're just going to throw it right away, get that carry kill, which is a smart idea. A lot of evasion coming oh. out. Oh my goodness, he is going to probably die. That Enigma does. Boombox trying to run away. There we go. Oh my goodness. Nice combo coming out from our Mela Toon. But he gets a grave out. Boombox now going to go down. Is he be able to get He's any got a kill? In there at least. Does go down. And oh, here we go. Fly Solo comes. XXS will go down as well. But Dagger flies. Boombox will be able to get stun up. There we go. Good kill on our Mela. And they're going to be able to bring out Fly cleaning Solo. Up. Oh my goodness. Just daggers. I mean, even without the crits, you're just doing so much damage, slowing everyone in, uh, through that moment. And for now, Probably eyeing next Roche. Oh, oh yeah, in bottom lane, there we go. The amp damage plus the blink and dagger. We see an instant crit. Gonna get nice path, but Boombox goes in. Nice attack. He's gonna try to run away. Slaughter taking so much damage, hiding in that fire right now. And Fly Solo wants that kill, but he just gets instantly crit. Oh, and the stun comes out. And there's the black hole, but instantly stunned out by our mouth. They blink for it. Oh my goodness, he gets blown up by the burning dagger. That's just going to be an epicenter. They're going to try to do anything they can. Q finally goes down, but Gabby goes down as well. It's now four for one trade. They're going to find all five right here. That looked like they were so close to turning on Clutch Gamers. OP now getting... Well, oh, the duel's going to come in, actually. Laguna comes out. XXS doesn't quite have it, but Grave already flies out. Burning kills Armel. We're going to see Fly Solo once again gets off a good ice path and everything, but this Dazzle's just the healing machine. Spirit Siphon comes out now, healing himself up. It's now going to be a three for one. Possibly they can bring down OP, but he's just kiting him around. And drops the Enigma, though. Raffi goes down. And is Bobica's just... And he doesn't have that BKB quite yet. It seems as if, though, EG are aware of the smoke. They know everyone's missing. There's some good vision coming out across the map. But they're still maybe going to get caught anyway. Three requests will come through. Sunray, Golem dropped down. They need the overgrowth. They need the living armor as well. RTZ is pretty tanky. There's the hookshot to come out. RTZ about to fall. Going to get dropped. Burning coming in. Doing some work. Zai's going to be next. Getting bashed up. A double kill coming out from him. Now Universe trying to get away. Supernova coming through. Sumail. Or getting up at least OP. He's already used the Yule Scepter, but... Two down, it's Jamel at low half HP, and it's time to get out for Evil Geniuses. Crit's gonna get jumped on, this three crush is there, and all of a sudden, turning even poor for EG. What a fight from IG to turn this around yet again. Champ hit now. 
Do Dyer know this is happening? They had some vision, I believe, over towards... Oh, yeah. Oh, they know. The player came out. They know now. Hookshot should be back up and ready to go. It is the Battle Trance's ownage. They might just get it here along with Tease. Hookshot coming in. Can Universe do it? It's already low, but not low enough. They need to stuff from Stormhammer. OP grabs the Aegis. There's the Stormhammer. They need more. Sonic Wave coming through. Already blowing up the Aegis. And they get the kill onto Bernie as well. He's got five back. Is he going to use it? Zai coming in. He doesn't have Overgrowth, but he does get the Rudolph onto Q, who's about to fall as well. Clockwork will go down, but Q getting shredded. And there's going to be that Stormhammer. But now Smell might be in trouble. Double stun. Ball lightning in. The cleave. Is it enough for Arteezy? OP might be next. He eats the cheese. He's trying to get out and will do so. They will lose clock. They don't get the ages or Roshan, but.